Hi, this is your flight attendant. The captain has turned off the seatbelt sign. Please feel free to move about the cabin and punch in the head the guy with the knee defenders in seat 14B. That was Paris, the epic review guy that reviewed the knee defender nearly a year ago. Now it's making national headlines. After recent fights mid-air, the gadget is holding its ground. You take these and you put them on those arms of the tray table and then slide them down until they are pushing against the seat back of the seat in front of you. Earlier this week, a woman flying from Newark to Denver tried to recline her seat. The guy behind her was using the knee defender. So when she couldn't recline, let's just say she wasn't too happy. In fact, she chucked her water at the guy, which then started a brawl, diverted the entire plane, and started a wave of controversy that's sweeping across the country. The knee defender, what do you think? I, I don't think I would like it too much. I would want to be able to lean back. You have to see it in, in action, see what it was like. Have you heard of the knee defender? No. You're going to give it to me for free? Nope. Sorry, sir. It's not for free. Actually, it's $21.95 plus tax, which isn't even close to what you would pay for diverting a flight. Is that something you do? No. Maybe a foul look. Foul look. <laughs> Get that thing off my seat so I can lean back. But come on. We've, we've all been there. Four-hour flight, tray table jammed into your knees, bruises. The knee defender doesn't sound so bad, does it? Huh. What do you think about that? That's kind of cool. Are you into it? Um, I just might be, yeah. Give me a website. From the Casper and Trona County International Airport, I'm Xavier Walton, K2 News.